So I've been hearing a lot about the Sheriff's Office budget in the news lately. Can you explain how government budgets work and how you can ensure you spend your money wisely? Absolutely. In our county government, we have what we call salary restrictions or lapse restrictions. These restrictions are put in place to account for expected savings from vacancies or staff turnover. This prevents the salary budget from being fully utilized and ensures that the funds are used wisely. So even if the sheriff's budget shows a certain amount on paper, he still can't spend that total amount? That's correct. You see, it's essential to note that the fiscal year, the basis of our budget planning, does not align with the regular calendar year. Instead, it runs from July 1 to June 30th of the following year. Let's take the example for the Sheriff's Fiscal Year 2024 budget. Even though our total personnel budget shows to be over $203 million on paper, we can only spend a specific amount due to the salary restriction. In this case, our salary restriction is $31.2 million, which leaves us with a personnel budget of $172 million that we can use. This is a strategic measure to ensure the prudent use of our funds. How can your budget be cut if the overall expenditure amount is the same? That is a great question. In the upcoming 2025 fiscal year budget, the mayor's proposed budget unfunds certain positions, resulting in a decreased budget for the sheriff's office. This means, if approved, we will have to operate within these new financial constraints. For example, the Shelby County Mayor's 2025 budget unfunds 441 positions, equivalent to $31.5 million almost the same number required by our salary restrictions for 2024. Another way to put it is that the budget that lists each individual expense category or line item separately, along with the amount budgeted for each category in 2024, is $131.8 million with 2,156 positions funded. In the Mayor's 2025 proposed budget, the salary line is $113.2 million with 1,715 positions, a difference of $18.6 million. This means the sheriff's budget for fiscal year 2025 is proposed to be $18.6 million less than 2024. If you look at the fringe benefits, for example, like retirement, pension, and other post-employment benefits in the line item budget for 2024, it shows to be $52.5 million with 2,156 positions funded. But then when you look at the Mayor's 2025 proposed budget, the fringe benefit line is $48.7 million with 1,715 positions, which is a difference of $3.8 million for a total of $22.4 million. This removes any flexibility in our personnel budget. The Mayor's proposed budget does not take into consideration the full funding of positions related to bargaining units, which received a 5% increase provided by the Sheriff last year. The Mayor's budget removes 441 positions and does not fully fund the uncontrollable cost of the increase in the retirement fringe rate. The Mayor's budget does reflect a 6% salary increase, yet the total personnel budget is flat from the previous year. This means the budget looks the same on paper. However, there is a change in the individual line items reflecting a shortage or cut from the previous year. Why haven't you filled the unfunded positions? There are several reasons. For instance, due to the delays in funding, we've had to use recently vacated positions to complete position requisitions. Sheriff Bonner provided a 5% increase to public and non-public safety positions in fiscal year 2024. Unfortunately, the mayor's budget team did not fully fund the vacant positions for the 5% increase until March 7, 2024. We are filling positions, however, we may not have filled the oldest position first. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has made it challenging to fill public safety positions. If the positions are unfunded, will you still have officer positions remaining in your budget? Yes, if the Commission approves the Mayor's proposed budget, we will have approximately 295 positions remaining. Of that number, 106 are correction deputies and 51 are deputy sheriff patrol officers. As it relates to the 441 positions the mayor budget unfunds, the following number of those positions are currently being filled or scheduled to be filled. For example, 48 were filled on May 1st or on May 16, 2024. 34 will be filled on June 17, 2024. One will be filled on July 1st, 2024. 29 will be filled on August 1st, 2024. 
One is in the background check phase. One is being reposted. One is to be held vacant due to the employee's green card status. So there is a total of 115 positions filled or scheduled to be filled by August 1st, 2024. The Shelby County Board of Commissioners approved three marketing and advertising contracts to assist us in recruiting for these hard to fill roles. We are starting to see an upward trajectory in the applications and training classes. It's important to understand that the funds for vacant positions have in the past been used to pay overtime expenditures that we cannot anticipate due to our shortage of manpower each year, as well as crimes or incidents that require additional personnel. Without these funds, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office would not have been able to provide the deputies needed to deal with the incidents that occurred related to Ezekiel Kelly, Tyree Nichols, Eliza Fletcher, and jail incidents. So in the past, when you haven't been able to fill these 441 positions, did you have to give the money back? That is a misconception that the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is inflated by having so many unfilled positions or is sitting on 31.4 million in vacant positions. If that were true, we would return $31 million to the county's general fund each year. Factually, due to the salary restriction, several positions must remain vacant in order to meet the budget. Over the last few years, we have returned the following to the general fund. Fiscal year 2023, $9.8 million. Fiscal year 22, $4.5 million. Fiscal year 2021, $9.1 million. And in fiscal year 2020, $4.6 million. What is the role of the sheriff in the county's budget? Is he responsible for balancing the budget? The sheriff is a constitutional officer. His roles and responsibility are prescribed in Tennessee law. The sheriff's role in the budget process is to submit his budget to the mayor's financial team. The mayor's financial team is then responsible for compiling the county's budget per the county's charter section 3.07b and submitting it to the county commission. The sheriff's budget has a maintenance of effort, which means that by law, the funding for the sheriff's office cannot be cut without the sheriff's consent. What is the role of the county commission as it relates to the budget? The county commission has two primary roles regarding the budget. One, to approve the county's operating budget, and two, to set a tax rate sufficient for the budget. Thank you very much for explaining how government budgets work and how Shelby County Sheriff's Office budget works in particular. You're welcome. And I want to thank you. The county budget is exciting. And I'm glad that you've taken an interest in the Shelby County Sheriff's Office budget. Just to reiterate, the Shelby County Sheriff has a maintenance of effort, which means the county commission is required to fund the Shelby County Sheriff's Office budget. Sheriff Bonner wants to ensure that he has the necessary funds in his budget to protect the public and enforce public safety. If you would like to have more information about the Shelby County Sheriff's Office budget, please visit our website at shelby-sheriff.org and click on the budget link.